in the meantime, asks the global energy community continues to mourn the passing of an icon, Mohamed Sanusi Berkindo. The Nigerian Television Authority, which happens to be another home of the deceased, and this report recalls his last visit to the station where he shared his success story at OPEC on resumption as its Secretary General. And Benny Adams has that. On assumption of office in August 2016 as OPEC Secretary General, Mohamed Sanusi Barkindo did not waste time as he brought to bear on common experience in the oil market on his new job. He made a significant move by reaching out to the major oil and gas producers outside OPEC, known as a known OPEC, led by the Russian Federation. Between On the table of negotiation, OPEC successfully sought the actualization of the Declaration of Cooperation. And it is under the platform of this framework that we started for the first time in history working with these countries, taking decisions together, implementing those decisions together, and even monitoring the decisions. Uh, today we have 24 oil producing and exporting countries both within OPEC and outside that are carrying out this uh, work of uh, maintaining balance and stability in the oil market. This cooperation later led to the ability of OPEC to navigate our energy dependent world through two major industry downturns of 2015 to 2016 and 2020 to 2021. For the first time, we took a decision on supply to the tune of 9.7 million barrels a day. This was the largest supply reduction in the history of OPEC and in the history of the industry because of the gravity of the supply demand imbalance. Secondly, we also took a longer duration of two years for the implementation of this decision from April 2020 to April 2022. And we continue to implement faithfully uh, these decisions with occasional uh, adjustments, moderation, depending on the oil market uh, circumstances. And since then, he has been an advocate for the attainment of energy sufficiency until he breathed his last. In Abuja, Benny Adams, NTA News.